A group of scientists at Cardiff University have turned their attention from cancer research to finding a vaccine for coronavirus. The team from the School of Medicine usually work on reprogramming viruses so they can target and kill cancer cells. They now hope to use the same skills to help in the fight against COVID-19. Well, to explain how it all works and what they're doing, I'm joined by Dr Alan Parker, who's leading their research. Uh, welcome, Dr Parker. Why did you decide to change the focus of your research? So obviously we're, we're responding to a, a fairly global crisis at the moment. Um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, this may seem like it's a fairly radical change in direction, but actually it's much more nuanced than that. What we're doing really is um, using our skills, our expertise, and the tools that we have available to um, develop vac vaccine vectors uh, to um, eliminate a viral pathogen rather than cancer. So although it seems quite a radical shift in direction, it's actually much more nuanced than that. What's the end game for your team? How does it fit in with the wider global effort or UK effort to, to, to find a vaccine? How does that all work? So really ours is very much a, a cog in the chain. We are, um, in our lab, we have a huge number of different viruses that we've developed, as you said in your introductory piece there, that we have developed to attack cancer cells. Um, we can recommission those, we can repurpose those to develop tools that might help the immune system fight back against coronavirus infection. So really, we're within our comfort zone, we're developing new tools, and at that point, we then pass those tools onto immunologists and other people who will help us understand which are the best of those vaccines to take forward. And how does it feel for you and your team to be part of such a, uh, what could be such a significant project? Well, you know, it's nice to be involved in something. I think a lot of us have been wondering how can we usefully use our skills as scientists and as researchers to contribute here. So, you know, we, we, we're aware of what we're good at. We're good at tinkering with viruses. We've got a lot of tools in our, our freezers here that we can take advantage of. We can easily recommission some of those. So if we can contribute anything, it, we'll be very pleased to do that. Um, clearly a tough decision to put um, the cancer research on hold, uh, but I suppose the big question also on everyone's lips is um, when do you think we might get some progress on, on a vaccine for coronavirus? A, a big question. Yeah, it is a big question. Um, you know, obviously we haven't necessarily put cancer research on hold. You know what, we have a, an extremely dedicated and talented team of researchers who are still at home, you know, working away from the lab, analysing data, writing papers, planning out their next experiments. So we haven't completely put that on hold. And of course, the work that we're doing now, understanding how the immune system responds to vaccines and to cancers, that's very much interchangeable. So I think it's really important to, to make that point that you know, we haven't completely stopped our cancer research and the work that we're doing will contribute to that. In terms of how long it's going to take for us to develop a vaccine, we know that within a few months we could produce some tools that you could call vaccines suitable for research in the lab. Um, now, those obviously won't be clinical grade, they won't be going to people at that point, but they will be the starting points for which we can begin to evaluate the immune responses and whether we can get protective responses against the virus. Well, we will be certainly keeping fingers crossed for you um, for a breakthrough on, on both uh, fronts of your research. Thank you very much, Dr Parker. Thank you very much.